Blinka, blinka, blinka. Okay. All right, before we dive into the newsletter, this is an item in the newsletter, but I wanted to just read what the editor-in-chief of Tom's Hardware said. The Adafruit Feather RP2040 is the best RP2040 board you can get. That's the review. Uh, There's more. Offering 8 megabytes storage, strong battery support, 4 ADCs, and a huge ecosystem of add-on boards. Get it. If you can find one in stock. Yeah, that's the only problem right now. I Believe me, if I can get these parts yeah, delivered to up. me, I will make them. I'm, I'm waiting on one or two more shipments. Yeah. If It's funny. If you don't have the part, you can't substitute another part. Like, if you don't have the USB-C connector, nothing else will fit. You got to have that connector. So and uh, hopefully soon. Just, to, you know, another thing. We decided not to do back orders because everyone especially in the electronics community in the chats are talking about this right now. There is um, some part delays, part storages. Imagine if you take someone's money and then indefinitely you're holding it for maybe these parts. So we do sign up. So sign up. We never do anything else with the email. You only get one email when it's back in stock and then you place an order. And that's been working out. So that's what we do. That's right. So sign up for them and uh, we're going to make them as fast as we can. Correct. So that's the that was the hardware portion of it. And I think, and this is, I'm just going to say this, it's, yes, the hardware, you did a good job. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Additionally, no. it's not just the hardware, it's the, it's the it's the Circuit Python Oh, it's the community. World. It's the code in the community. Yeah, this is Code Plus community, but the hardware is really good, and the, the thing that people can code with is it, it fits the hardware well. Yeah. So Feather, Open, does all these things. Huge ecosystem of hardware, Circuit Python, hundreds of libraries, get you going really fast, and you're doing the thing you want to do. Yeah. So, anyways. I never and, understood why these cunning boards had circles on them. Like, what's what's the goal? What, what are you doing? There's probably some type of thing that you do. What are you doing? Um, so okay. that is um, so that's that. Okay. So the other thing uh, we have our Python on Hardware newsletter. Yes. Um, Piper Make. Yeah. A new Chrome browser based. But fully browser way of doing block-based programming, and guess what? Underneath it's Circuit Python. You load Circuit Python, and then um, it basically turns the REPL into a block-based, like blockly programming system. Um, there's even a library that they published, which we've just added to the bundle today. So you can even basically take your Piper code and then make it like permanent. You know, living yeah. on the on the storage device. So it's interesting. Um, I think this is cool. I mean, with Web Serial. Now being a um, standard, um, on it's it's by default on in Chrome. You don't have to enable it anymore. Um, one of the things I always wanted to do was have a, a web REPL, and I'm like, they did it. Like there you go. That's Circuit Python. Yeah, and the neat thing is, if anyone says, "Well, Adafruit, are you going to make it like a block based Circuit Python?" These guys did. Here you go. And uh, I don't have to. Yeah, and so this is really neat, and I think that. You know, if you like make code with Circuit Playground Express, try the Pico if you have one with make.playpiper.com. That's right. So anyways. Check it out. Yep. Okay. Uh, our Discord server hit 28,000 people. Right now we have about 4,704 people online. That's nice. Yeah. Um, Circa, we're doing a bundle managing um, and and library management. We're going to see some work being done with that. We've you know th- hit three hundred libraries, uh, so we want to um, now write plugins for IDEs to make it easier for you to manage your libraries. Um, thankfully, we all thought about this years ago, and we, we <laughs> said like like believe me, we had a lot of discussions about the libraries. If you look at how our libraries are done and distributed, it was designed to be automated and turned into a fully um, a fully automated way of publishing libraries and getting them into IDEs and managing all the dependencies. Um, we learned a lot from how Arduino did it, and we just want to skip to what Arduino is doing now um, and not have all the pieces in between. So, you know, I know folks are, are, you know, you can always drag and drop the files of your libraries onto uh, the CircuitPy drive, but it would be cool if maybe uh, Thani or Moo or VS Code did that automatically. So that's that's one of the things that we're starting to work on now. So keep your eyes peeled. And if you want to contribute, uh, if you want to help write a plugin for your favorite IDE, p- post up in the Discord or join us on GitHub. Uh, post up an issue, 
And uh, we'd love to have you because there's a lot of IDs and we're, we're going to do some big ones, but we might not do all of them. Yep. Uh, by the time the new- next newsletter comes out, there's a new update of Moo. Mm. Um, I think we either got in there or it'll be in the next one. It's a public beta. Yeah, we, I mean, we're stuff in there, but we have some improvements. Hopefully we'll get in uh, before the last beta. Yep. Deep Dive with Scott this Friday. Yeah, check it out. Lady Ada stops by sometimes. Flash too. memory. Talks about Circuit Python. Um, here is more of... The round w- display. Yeah. There, we're seeing more round displays. And um, one of the things that folks do with Circuit Python and also all forms of coding on the Pico is display things. So you can see. Yeah. So round displays. Um, and yeah. it's cool because you can see the capabilities of, of Circuit Python, which is managing your... All these are objects, you know what I mean? So you don't have to redraw a second. You don't have to deal with, that with dirty rectangle tracking. It's all done for oh. you. Um, you've got some uh, Kibos. They're, these are running. Uh, these are from Yeah, lots of keyboard stuff. They run CircuitPython. Uh, this is a cool demo. Uh, somebody just showing, hey, look, all these CircuitPython device, all these devices, uh, I2T devices and displays have CircuitPython libraries yeah. already. Isn't that wonderful? Uh, Game Duino, um, I love what they're doing. They are using the Eve chipset to add um, like true HDMI. I mean, like the, the circuit, the, the Pico is doing this cool hack, uh, but this is true um, HDMI output with full graphics support in Circuit Python. So you can like load sprites and play videos and like resize and, and perform. Uh, it's like a GPU basically for microcontrollers. Um, they have a shield and I think like a feather wing, and uh, yeah. we're going to hopefully stock it soon. All right. Um, uh, you can check out some Python more examples. vids. Yeah, um, Bill, he was on the show and tell and showed the RP2040 head mouse. Yeah. Um, so that's a standalone video you can also check out last week's show and tell. Yeah, um, like just like yeah. connecting hardware to hardware, making synthesizers. Yeah, there's a lot of MIDI stuff going on because we have that for CircuitPython, so people are using the Pimeroni keyboard to then control MIDI stuff. Yeah, this uh, is a w, this is a Jepler's WWBB clock. Yeah. Uh, TG Techies working on doing GUI stuff with Circuit Python display. There's a lot of GUI That's stuff. That's all happening. you need to watch to do. On off. So yeah. like, what do you what do you need more? Who needs to know the time? Yeah, you just need to know: Are you on? Or are you off? Are you on or off? All right. And so, um, so you check out Python projects. Yeah. Blinkas. So you can lines. check out all of this stuff and more. And more. Um, we also have a roundup. Dude, of, this is a huge newsletter. I'm even ready. Yeah. Gotta, we also have a roundup of some of the things we released. Um, and also the upcoming uh, events up to, I think, 305 libraries. Let me check. 305. Five. Yeah, 305 good, good. libraries. Yes. Um, and check out the events that are coming up. There's Open Hardware Summit. PyOhio is coming up. GeoPython, PyCon, EuroPython, PyOhio. Some of these are virtual. Some of these are going to be in person. Stay tuned to the newsletter for all the things in Python and... Uh, that is this week's Python on Hardware. Okay, Lady Ada. 